Hey and welcome everybody, this is Andrew from Clockwork 9 and I'm going to give you a little rundown on the lens module in Mocha Pro, a plugin for After Effects and Premiere Pro. So what we're going to do is take this footage. We shot something uh, a few weeks ago for a little video we're doing about a new desk that we got where we shot all the parts exploded out from up above and it's a little off kilter, you know. That's fixable, it's easily, you know, easily fixable. That's 4K footage, so it's fine. Um, the one thing that normally would be a problem though, uh, that you might not notice day to day, because we're kind of used to lens distortion in a lot of uh, film. It's just part of, you know, lenses in general. You're just, you get used to it after a while. But for something like this, uh, where you expect it to be flat, it looks a little unusual. It almost looks like a, there's a curvature going on in the image because there is. We're using something, uh, I think it's a, it was a 30 millimeter lens, it might be 24. It was a zoom lens, so I'm not sure exactly where it was set, but got some distortion around the edges here uh, towards the top. And what we're going to do is fix that using the Mocha Pro plugin. So, first thing we do is get Mocha, launch it up. And fortunately, because this is the plugin, Mocha sets everything up for you based on the clip that you select, that you apply it to. So if you have Mocha Pro or uh, Mocha AE will do this too, but for Mocha Pro, uh, you're probably gonna have, you're gonna have to set all the parameters, but this does it all for you. So your aspect ratio, dimensions, everything are all set. So go to the lens module down here. And first thing you wanna do, locate lines. So you can see there's a ton of lines in this image, uh, way more than we need. It's kind of confusing to do the next part. With, uh, so what we want to do is increase the line length. Uh, let's go to 50. Actually, 50 is pretty good. So we're going to stick at 50 because the goal here is that you want to get as many lines in the image that belong to straight shapes or objects. If you know for a fact that something in the scene is supposed to be straight and it's curved, like this floor, uh, this desk, these don't look too bad, but you can see a little bit of curvature there, but these are supposed to be straight, these bars and these legs for the table. You can tell Mocha that's supposed to be straight and then Mocha then knows where to undistort the image. So what we're gonna do is select new line down here and then I know some of these are supposed to be straight lines, like this floor in particular. And you can kind of see uh, these blue lines or these colored lines that you select are the located lines. The green highlighted line is the curvature that Mocha is estimating based on what we're doing so far. All right, so let's find some more lines here. Go to new line. Those are connected. Let's do a couple more here. Go here. And finally go these. Now I know that these uh, lines on the floor are supposed to be straight because they are perfectly straight. Um, I don't know for a fact that this table is straight, although I'm pretty sure it probably is. But regardless, you can kind of see a little bit of the curvature. You'll really notice it towards the edges. This isn't a super distorted image, but you'll notice it once we get going here. So uh, you have a bunch of options here. Um, one parameter two parameter, one parameter inverted, anamorphic, and then distortion map. One parameter is what you're gonna use most of the time. It's for regular barrel distortion, where you have a warp emanating from the center of the image and going out. So that's typical short focal length lenses. Two parameter is where you have a fisheye type lens, where you've got a bulge in the center and then a wavy distortion coming out and it's a lot more complicated than the one parameter, but fixable in Mocha. One parameter inverted is inverted one parameter. Anamorphic adjusts for anamorphic lenses. And then distortion map we'll get into a little bit later. We're just gonna to touch on that. Um, but we're gonna go with one parameter. And then we're gonna turn on our grid so that I can illustrate how this looks. So in, uh, so what we're gonna do, actually, let me talk about these real quick. Equidistant lines, 
This is if you have a calibration grid in your image. So what you could do is take all of your lenses in your camera, shoot a grid, and then if you know you have equidistant lines up and down on the grid, you can tell Mocha these all, all these lines are supposed to be uh, the same distance apart, and these are all supposed to be straight. So you can actually make a calibration map for each one of your lenses, uh, each one of your prime lenses, and apply that to your future footage. Calibrate center is if you want to, if you have cropped footage and you want, uh, this is the center point right here. This is generally going to be the center. It's the center point of the lens. But if you crop in on the footage, uh, move things around, that center point might change. You can manually change it with the center XY down here, or you can tell Mocha to attempt to calibrate. I'm sorry, yeah, to calibrate on its own to figure out, to try to figure out where the center is. But since we don't have a calibration grid and this is uncropped footage, we're just going to calibrate. Now just watch this grid after you hit calibrate. And you can see there's not a lot of distortion in the image, but the grid itself is indicating what's happening um, based on our, uh, our calibration, based on our lines. So we can kind of get an idea off of that right there. And so in Mocha Pro, what you can actually do is render this out. And you can see Mocha took the distortion out of the image. That looks a lot better now. This looks a little bit off just because that is kind of far off center from the middle of the camera, even though that is uh, undistorted now, at least much more than it was before. So that's it. That's all we need to do here with the Mocha Pro plugin. We can take this back into Premiere or After Effects and render that out within the program. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. I'm just going to go a little bit further here and talk about uh, the distortion map. Once you have the distortion map, you can use this to calibrate the image. And you're going to get that so we can actually export the distortion map from Mocha as a Mocha Lens for After Effects, if you have the Mocha Lens plugin for After Effects, uh, Imagineer Lens Data, or Distortion Map Clip, which you can use in Nuke, you can use in Mocha. And once you save that out, um, that's basically your calibration map. So we don't need to do that. We need to go to our last step, um, which is taking this back into Premiere. So we're going to save that, and you can see the image looks exactly like it did before we started. There's nothing applied to it. Um, it's basically, before we went into Mocha, this is what it looked like. So we're going to go to the Mocha Pro plugin here. We're going to go to Module Renders. We're going to go down to Lens Undistort, and then just Render. And you can see the very slight amount of distortion that was there is now gone. So let's go before, after, before, after, before after. And that's it. That's all you have to do. If you have a lot of these going on in a sequence, I would recommend rendering these out of Mocha if you have the ability or at least rendering them in Premiere before you, uh, as part of a nested sequence, before you actually start loading your timeline up with these because even though it's very cool that we can use the plugin within Premiere and After Effects, it's very slow for certain things. Uh, lens distortion's not so bad, but you're not gonna get a fluid frame rate most of the time. And that's about it. That wraps up this tutorial. I wanna thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, follow us on social media if you can. I know you hear that at the end of every video, but we do really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.